Dr. Harmon here at Physio U. What we're going to be focusing on today is a roll for lumbar stability. And what we're going to be focusing on is the athlete who needs to associate the hips to the trunk, such as in batting, other rotational activities, or even in a patient as low level as getting out of bed with pain. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Jess bring her legs up about 90 degrees, knees slightly apart from the feet, hands about chest height, maybe a little bit higher, and then we're going to go a little bit soft with the hands, just like that. And what we're going to want her to do is we're going to want her to roll her entire body to the left, keeping everything together. And the important part is to look at how she starts and ends the motion. Another thing you may want to keep a look at is you can look at what their abdominals are doing as they're doing this by visualizing that and keeping an eye on their chin neck angle and what muscles are activated in the neck itself. And so we're just going to want her to rotate. Now let's say she really can't do this and she's rotating her hips first, which would be incorrect. It would be not keeping everything in a line. A good cue that you could use to get her used to it is have her hold a ball. Notice how it puts her knees in the correct angle, her hands in the correct position, and now it's going to be a cue to hold, squeeze the ball between your knees and your arms just a little bit, and now rotate. That's really going to help her keep everything together in order to get everything moving with as few external cues as possible. So it's just hold the ball, put a little pressure into the ball, and then roll back and forth. Once she gets that, what you can add is you can add any form of wrapping bands. Now the band itself can be used as a facilitatory cue or a strengthening cue if it has enough tension. Make sure that they can hold the position with the band like this. You're going to turn on some shoulder flexors, you're going to turn on the trunk a little bit more to stabilize. You're going to turn on external rotators here. Make sure the hands are not gripping the band, they're nice and free. They could be gripping a ball or whatever sport specific tool that people are going to be using. Now we're going to rotate with this same hold. And pull this apart a slight bit, there we go. And again, this is pretty challenging, so you're seeing some breakdown here, but that's important. Start a level below this and then work up towards this. So as a recap for trunk stability with rotation in supine, what you're going to be looking at is using the ball, using the bands, and using anything else you have at your clinic to make it sport specific in order to gain association of the hips to the trunk. For any further research, go to my blog post at PhysioU and look at all the current evidence on this motion.